Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the decile for group data. Okay? So, deciles are those values that divide the total frequency or yung ating distribution into 10 equal parts. Okay? So, ang formula natin to get the decile ng ating group data is D sub K equals LB plus the quantity of k times n over 10 minus cf sub b all over f sub dk times i. Okay, so ano bang ibig sabihin ng mga variables natin dyan? Yung lb natin, that is the lower boundary ng ating uh, decile class. So mamaya ipapakita ko kung paano ba natin malolocate yung ating decile class. Okay. Next is yung n, which is the total frequency o yung number of samples dun sa ating given. Then yung cf sub b, that is the cumulative frequency of the class before nung ating decimal class. Then yung f sub dk, that is our frequency ng ating decimal class. I naman, that is the size of the class interval. Then, yung k is the value ng ating or yung number ng ating decile where n is equal to 1 to 9. Okay? So, depende kung ano yung pinapahanap sa ating decile. So, let's have example. Calculate the third decile and the seventh decile of the scores of 50 students. So, dito guys, uh, normally ang given natin dito is yung class interval and yung frequency. So, paano ba natin nakuha yung lower boundary? So, nag-minus lang tayo guys ng 0.5 doon sa ating lower class interval. Example, 46 minus 0.5, that is 45.5. Okay? Then, we have 41 minus 0.5, we have 40.5. So, ganun lang yan. Hanggang doon sa pinakababa, that is 21 minus 0.5, we have 20.5. Okay? So, nakuha ba kung paano natin kinukuha yung lower boundaries? Next is yung ating less than cumulative frequency. So, dito naman guys, uh, para makuha natin tong column na to, kukopyahin nyo guys yung frequency ng ating lowest class interval which is 6. Okay? Then after nyan guys, uh, ipa-plus natin yung next na frequency. So, 6 plus 12, that is 18. Okay? Then, plus 9, we have 27. Followed by plus 11, that is 38. Nakuha? Then, plus 8, we have 46. Then, last, plus 4. Ang total frequency natin, 50. Nakuha, guys, kung paano uh, sinolve yung ating less than cumulative frequency. So, after nyo ngayon makompleto yung ating um, table, pwede na natin i-compute yung ating decile. So, again, ang formula natin to get the decile is D sub K equals LB plus the quantity of K times N over 10 minus CF sub B over F sub D sub K times I. Okay? So, dito guys, bago natin magamit yung ating formula, kailangan makita muna natin yung ating third decile class. Okay? So, since third decile yung pinapahanap, kailangan malocate natin saan ba siya uh, nakaposisyon dun sa ating table. Okay? So, gagamitin natin ngayon yung formula natin dito, yung k times n over 10 para malocate yung ating third decimal class. Okay? So, ang k natin, since uh, third decimal ang pinapahanap, that is 3 times n. So, we have 50. Ito yung given natin kanina. Ito, yung 50 students, the number of samples, over 10. So, pag kinompute yan, 3 times 50, that is 150, divided by 10. So, that is 15. Okay? So, gagamitin nyo ngayon, guys, yung location ng ating third decile class dito sa ating less than CF. 
Okay? So, ahanapin nyo yung number na mas malapit kay 15 at the same time, dapat mas mataas sa kanya. Okay? So, ang pinakamalapit kay 15 is yung 18. Tama? Then, then since 18 is greater than 15, so, ito na ngayon yung ating magiging third decimal class. Nakuha guys? So again, ang pipiliin nyo is yung nearest higher than 15. So ang nearest sa kanya is 18. Then at the same time, mas mataas sa kanya. So yan na yung ating uh, third decimal class. Nakuha guys? So ngayon, pwede na nating ma-identify yung mga gagamitin natin dun sa ating formula. So, una yung ating uh, lower boundary. So, nasa may decimal class yan. That is 25.5. Followed by yung ating uh, cumulative frequency before nung ating uh, decimal class. So, bago tayo mag-18 guys, meron muna tayong 6. So, ito yung gagamitin natin doon sa ating formula. Okay? So, tandaan na kaya siya may B dyan. Ibig sabihin before. Bago yung ating third decimal class. Okay? Next is yung ating frequency doon sa ating decimal class. So, ang frequency natin dyan is 12. Then, last is yung ating size ng class interval. So, bibilangin nyo lang yan dito guys. So, pag binilang nyo, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So, meron tayong 5 na class interval. Tama? So, ito ngayon yung gagamitin natin dun sa ating formula. So, pwede na natin i-substitute yan, guys. So, to solve for uh, third decile, that is equals to lower boundary, we have 25.5 plus the quantity of kn over 10. So, na-solve na natin yan, guys, kanina. Ito yung 15. Okay, ito yung ginamit natin para malocate yung ating uh, decile class. Tama? Then, minus yung ating uh, CF sub B, that is 6, over yung ating frequency, which is 12, times I, so that is 5. Okay? So, para makompute yan, guys, uh, simplify mo natin nasa parenthesis. So, 15 minus 6, that is 9, then divided by 12, so we have 0 0.75, then times 5. So that is 3.75. Okay, so therefore, ang ating third decile is equals to uh, 25.5 plus 3.75, so that is 29.25. Yan. So, nakuha? So, next, let's have uh, the, the seventh decile. Okay? So, again, uh, bago natin masolve yung ating seventh decile, kailangan makuha muna natin yung ating uh, seventh decile class. So, uh, using the formula Kn or K times N over 10. So, this time, ang K natin is 7 times n, so we have 50 students over 10. Tama? So, 7 times 50, that is 350 divided by 10, we have 35. So, gagamitin natin si 35 to locate yung ating 7 decimal class. So, tingin tayo sa table. So, ang nearest higher than 35 dito is yung 38. Tama? Siya yung pinakamalapit kay 35 at the same time, mas mataas kay 35. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating D sub 7 o yung 7 decile natin is between 36 to 40. Okay? So, dito tayo sa row na to titingin para, ma, uh, para makuha yung ating 7 decile. So, una, identify na natin yung mga gagamitin natin. First, yung ating lower boundary. So, we have 35.5. Followed by yung ating 
cumulative frequency before the seventh decile class. So, kung 38 yung pinili natin kanina, bago mag-38, meron tayong 27. Tama. Next is yung ating frequency ng ating decile class. So, ang frequency natin is 11. Then, yung I naman natin, guys, same lang dun sa nauna, nung binilang natin, that is 5. Okay? So, next, pwede na natin i-apply yung mga napili na, yung mga um, gagamitin natin doon sa ating formula. So, D sub 7 is equals to uh, lower boundary. So, that is 35.5. Plus the quantity of Kn uh, over 10. Ito yon. So, nasolve na natin yan guys. That is equals to 35. Minus yung Cf sub B. That is 27. Over F. So, ang F natin is 11. Times I which is 5. Okay? So, una, solve muna natin yung nasa parenthesis. So, 35 minus 27, that is 8, divided by 11, then times 5. Okay, so after nyo masubtract yan, divide nyo by 11, then times 5. So, lalabas dyan is 3.63. Okay, so ipa-plus na natin ngayon yan guys. Uh, 35.5 plus 3.63. That is 39.13. Yan. So, nakuha ba? So, interpret na natin ngayon yung ating mga deciles. So, since third decile to, so, ibig sabihin, 30% of the data falls below 29.25. Tama. Next is yung ating 7th uh, decile. So, that is 70% of the data falls below 39.13. Okay. So, nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope naintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba kunin yung deciles ng ating group data. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!